What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy KJV back again. And boy, do I got a story to tell you. Let me tell you all about it. So, finally got a permanent job. Can you believe that? A permanent job, no contract work. Like I said, I've been out of work for what, three months? Almost, but I did some contract work. But uh, finally got a full time position. And it's with, uh, I can say, with the government city of Kalamazoo. So, network technician with them uh, started today. And uh, like always, you know when it's like meant to be. Because, like, when you go um, do an interview, I had to be there at 2 30. I got there at 2 15. So, I got there a little bit early. So, he just went on and pulled me back to the back. Felt comfortable and everything, like always. And just rocked it just rocked it and it was like awesome and then like right at the end you know we just started talking about like how the system works there like they act like I've been there forever and uh it was just comfortable and then right before I left he said like uh I went through a temp service so he was like looking at the uh the resume and so he's like uh do I contact uh Brianna and then um but he's, it's a different number to talk, so well, that's who I go through, so I guess you call the number and ask for her. So, the interview with number like, maybe 20, 25 minutes. You know, I was just selling myself like you supposed to. And, uh, it was just great. It was easy, but I left at 2.45. And, you know, that's a nice little ride. Maybe like 50 minute, 50 minute ride. So, I got home. It was almost like, 3:45, and then I called a temp agent just to tell her how everything went. And um, while I was on the phone, I, you know, uh, she said maybe she'd hear something back. And so that was probably like four o'clock. And uh, I got on the phone and called my mom, just tell her like, hey, I had a good interview and it's going on. And then before I could get out the phone with my mom, the phone rang again, and she called me back, said, hey, he like to give you an offer. Now this is 4:15. So, your boy sold himself. So, you know, got them skills though. So, see how it is. And like I said, the day was the first day, didn't have nothing ready. So, me being the tech that I am, I set up my own laptop. And they was impressed with that. So, uh, everything seems to be going all right. So, uh, hopefully from here on out, everything be good. And also, it's something else. Let me tell y'all. All oh, y'all single mothers. Stay at home, mom. Hats off to y'all. I always said that, but I'm going to tell you like this. If your husband or your significant other is watching this or you need to let them watch this, I'm going to start uh, giving my wife, cutting my wife a check because <laughs> she been sick. <laughs> she been sick of my son, you know. He been sick and then she got caught it with him, so... She ain't been able to do nothing, so I've been making sure she straight and uh, the kids straight. And I did a couple of things I ain't done in a couple of years. So like, she does everything. You know, I would be like, I wash clothes. I just like to wash clothes, but she don't never let me. But uh, I got a chance this weekend. That was fun. I ain't, I ain't complaining about that. I just like, but you know, you just don't. People don't think about the, all the stuff they do. So just think about the ones that do a full-time job and come home and still do all that stuff. So, you know, I've been at home all this time, but then, like, today I come home just to make sure everything's straight. You know, just put everything in perspective. Like, women be strong. You know, we don't give them the credit that it's supposed to be. Now, I'm not complaining and saying that I can't do it. But, man, you think about this every day, all day, and she just sick. So, and also, it's been, like, at least 15 15, 10 to 15 years since I combed uh, my daughter's hair. See, my older daughter, she was 22, and I used to comb my hair all the time. But see, her hair is like mine, thin, you know, it was kind of in between like medium length. And, you know, I could do twisties and I could braid it, and it would just do good because it was it's thin like mine. But my youngest is like mine, but it's like her mama, so it's, it's extra long and it's thick. Goodness gracious, you! Uh, but I should, should uh, you should have seen it like got four pigtails. So like this one on the back is like 
being this is on this side was okay, and being this is on the top was kind of like, oh, all right. But then this is on this side it was great. It's like you could see the progression <laughs> as I went through it. But uh, I'll just this is all I want to say to y'all, uh, to all y'all mothers out there with jobs or stay at home moms and hey, keep on doing what y'all doing. Y'all need that respect. And to all y'all brothers with them, cut them a check. Until next time, peace, love, hair grease. That boy's good. Mm -hmm. Good. Hey, everybody. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the Fitz Live 5 and my husband's beats.